How you doing, generals? Got a brainstorm in here. <laughs> so General Petraeus, right, was using Gmail, right, the drafts, and he had his girlfriend had the password, and he had the password, correct? Now, it sounds like a pretty solid system to me. <laughs> I mean, there's absolutely no way that anybody could have ever come up with that information, correct? Um, what I'm getting at here is Google, right? Google. Maybe that deep mind over there is reading everybody's emails, right? It just all goes into deep mind, and when it sees something that it can use to its advantage, well, it uses it, right? Politically or whatever, because they're a big monopoly that wants to control the fucking country, right? And then, what's even stranger, is the media picks up and runs with all of this, and nobody ever stopped to ask themselves how. <laughs> they came, uh, they explained how it was possible, right? But why doesn't anybody ever go, <laughs> sounds pretty solid to me, how the fuck did they know they were doing that, <laughs> right? You know, <laughs> I mean, either the NSA was hacking it, or Google was, you know, eavesdropping on General Petraeus. And I'm sure they used code. I mean, how would how would Google even know that it was General Petraeus's account? You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, Google has some sort of big connection to all of this. And I'm almost convinced this mind hive. I'm, sometimes I wonder. I'm not convinced, but sometimes I wonder. If this mind hive in the media is Google Deep Mind, right? I've, I've getting, a, I got a whole lot of indications that that may be the case, but the media jumped all over General Petraeus for a stupid affair, right? And but the thing is, is nobody ever they explained how they got the emails. They explained the whole system, but <laughs> leave me wondering. You know, that's, that sounds like something I would do. And it sounds like a pretty solid system to communicate with somebody without being, you know, exposed to your communications. The only way that your communications could be exposed in that setup where you're using the same account and writing drafts like they were doing, you, you get the concept, I'm sure, is if somebody was eavesdropping on the account right? Was there any warrants put out for General Petraeus for electronic tapping or anything like that? <laughs> you know, Army CID? <laughs> That's something you might want to ask yourself, right? I'm telling you, these people are all a mind hive board, and deep mind over there at Google is a major player in all of this, somehow. Okay, Army CID. And Go back and watch my video I already made on General Petraeus and the whole situation. But I just wanted to further explain how they were communicating. And, and I want you to brainstorm yourself and go, well, how the fuck would they have caught him? <laughs> I mean, how did, they, how did they know that he was doing that? It's impossible to, I mean, it's not impossible, obviously. But it should have been a secure system to communicate with somebody without being exposed. Right? <laughs> Y'all ever thought of that? <laughs> Anybody out there that's still awake ever wonder <laughs> how that was possible? <laughs> I'm trying to give you a clue <laughs> here. <laughs> Army CID. I gave you all a lot of clues. How'd you like that uh, boat pick, Heather? <laughs> By the way, I'm not gay. <laughs> I don't talk like Gomer Pyle either. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. It worked to perfection. I like hustling people, but that was just a love tap. <laughs> Another thing that uh, Army CID, you know, I, there's the red and the green nano in the air, okay? All right. Now, there's a purple <laughs> nano, okay, in the air. <clears throat> um, that may have some sort of relation to Google. <laughs> I'm not sure. It may be. I'm not sure where this... I can see this stuff in the air. 
I got the cyborg vision. Okay. I'm really trying to figure out what this purple <laughs> nano is. I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> um, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? <laughs> curious because the little purple one that was just a little orb about this big floated around see the <laughs> the red and the green nanos just everywhere all right <laughs> it's just like all over the place i could see it everywhere but that little purple buddy right it just it just kind of float around <laughs> it just kind of float around my head and land on my shoulder <laughs> you know i'm like hey you doing <laughs> you know and uh, the red stuff will beat you in your head and torture you <laughs> like a motherfucker, whatever the red nano is. And the green nano, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's Pops over here. <laughs> Whatever he got this green nano. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> that's our <laughs> click-clack device. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that, but who cares? I don't know. I'm sure the green nano has something to do with the military. I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> the red nano kicks your ass. I have China, Russia. I don't know which one that is. <laughs> it's one of the two, probably. Or it's the FBI. However, they got fucking nano in the air. Fuck if I know. But the little purple buddy. <laughs> I wonder if that's Google. <laughs> I'm just... Has anybody ever wondered, you know, I mean, they are probably one of the biggest, richest companies in the world. And then maybe they figured out a way to steal the military technology. <laughs> and maybe they came up with their own nanotechnology that's capable of making my knives, like in the media. And it was just the little purple buddy <laughs> that was just kind of... Of course, I can't... I got to admit, the purple buddy seemed to be the more friendly of the three nanos. The other two nanos are assholes. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of put me through hell here. Um, so you got the red, the green, and the little purple buddy. Uh, I just, it just, I keep scratching. It's like I, I never can figure out who the purple nano was unless it's Lockheed. <laughs> it could be Lockheed. who's apparently been working with Google for a long time. <laughs> Got this whole Fusion GPS thing. Pretty sure they've partnered up. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'm just trying to give you some clues here as to what I see. I'm your eyes and ears on him. Let me see I do. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I might sound like a fucking idiot, but I swear to God, I'm not making any of this up. I'm not crazy either. This shit's trying to drive me crazy. <laughs> I just no doubt about that. But that's a little more food for thought there, uh, Heather.